I'm currently standing at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport airspace and it appears that things are back to normal. But one thing that's not clear is how management was able to recruit more than 300 employees, train them on security and safety standards, certify them to work in less than one week. As far as the Kenya Airport's authority management is concerned, the gaps left by the striking employees have already been filled. In a bid to cope with the situation, the management has also drawn workers from different departments to stand in for those who are on strike. KAA also sought reinforcement from the police department to handle the shortage of workers. Nobody has been recruited as far as I know. Uh, what, who are doing the job are the supervisors. Uh, who are now working on 24 hours uh, shift. Uh, when you arrive today in the morning, you work up to tomorrow in the morning. Among the core responsibilities of the Kenya Airports Authority, other than flight control and firefighting, is maintaining security standards, which includes screening passengers and goods to prevent any security breach at the airport, a role that requires a minimum of three months training. Most of them were the police who were already working here. We only stepped up their numbers. According to one of the KAA employees whose fate remains unknown, the police officers currently holding brief only have basic skills to carry out what is expected of a KAA officer. The police don't know what they are doing. In fact, they are tired because uh, there are, uh, are three shifts. There are very few at the airport. Because at the same, t at the same time we are doing uh, excess control, what we are supposed to do. At the same time, you are doing a, a general security coverage. And so as both the management and the employees of the KAA maintain their hard stance, you and I remain vulnerable to security breaches at the airport. For Newsnight Business, I'm Bella Genga.